Okay, I want to talk about how to create new virtual devices. This is how to define new versions of your emulator. You're working with Android, you want to test a Cordova app that you've built, and you want to have a couple of different versions, a couple of different devices that you want to test it on. So, I have Android Studio open here. I've got a project open. That's not important. With the project open, I go into the Tools menu up at the top, go into the Android menu inside of Tools, and right here, AVD Manager. This is what I'm looking for. So if I click on that to open up the AVD Manager, what we have here is the Virtual Device Manager. That's what ADV stands for, is Android Virtual Device. So I've got one defined. I want to create a new one. Really, I'm defining the different properties. It's like I'm making up an imaginary phone that I can launch. So I click on Create Virtual Device, um, Phone, Tablet, Android Gear, something like that, or Android TV. Uh, we're going to do a phone. I can scroll through the list. There's a whole bunch of pre-built ones. You can design one for yourself, but a lot of these are pretty close to uh, what you're going to have. So we've got Pixel XL, Nexus S. Let's just uh, pick the Nexus S for sake of argument. It shows me this is the resolution on the screen. This is the size of the screen. The screen density is high DPI. So if I take that and I click Next, down here, which is the version of the operating system? Now, these are the targets. These are the ones that I have currently loaded onto my computer. So I've got all these I can choose from right now. Um, I'm just going to say that it's Marshmallow. It's a uh, Nexus S, so it's a little bit older. So I'm going to say that Marshmallow version 6 or API 23, that's the one that's on this phone that I'm inventing. Go Next. There it is, Nexus S. Marshmallow is the operating system. Uh, startup orientation, which way you want it to be facing when it launches. Now there are some advanced settings you can go in. And one of the most common ones, if you're going to be doing anything with a camera, this emulated here. I can switch that between using the webcam on my laptop or emulated, which means it's going to show a little animated picture and I can click the button to take a picture, but it's going to be like a screenshot of, there's a, a little grid with a colored square that moves around. So we can choose either one of those, network speed, so you can slow things down if you want. Um, choose what kind of network speed that you're going to be getting and define the size of the RAM and, and the internal storage, things like that. So you've got all these extra options that you can set. I'll say finish. Oh, and the AVD name up at the top. That was the last thing I was going to set was if you want to come up with a custom name for this. The type of phone and the version of the API, this is the default name that you get. I can come back in here and change this if I want and say, Bella, that's going to be the name of my AVD. Click Finish, and there we go. So I have now defined an AVD called Bubba, which is running Marshmallow. This is how much um, space on disk is occupied. I can use these play buttons here to launch either one of these emulators. So I'll click the play button. I think I missed just slightly. Oh, no, I did get it the first time. There we go. So it's starting to launch now. And so here's our Nexus S that's launching. And in a moment, this is just like starting up your phone. When you start an AVD, it's like starting up the phone. If you had the phone off, you turned, you hit, pressed the power button, it's going to launch. So you can define as many of these as you want, and then you can use them for testing from Android Studio. You can use it for testing from uh, Cordova, from the command line. If I wanted to launch this one called Bubba, so if I close that, I'm shutting it down. It's saving its current state, shutting it down. If I go to the command line, as long as I've got the path variable set up right, I can say emulator. ABD, and then the name. Bubba was the name that we gave it. Hit enter. And there we go. 
So it's starting up the emulator from the command line, which is the exact same thing as starting it up from Android Studio. Okay, and that's it. That's all you need to know to set up your own ABDs. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.